Good morning, today's lesson is 2.11. Today we're gonna to multiply three digit and four digit numbers with regrouping. Our essential question, how can you use regrouping to multiply? Let's unlock the problem. Alley Spring in Missouri produces an average of 567 million gallons of water per week. How many millions of gallons of water do the springs produce in three weeks? So in order to find out how many gallons they produce in three weeks, we're gonna multiply. And we're gonna multiply three times 567. Estimating is a good way for us to make sure that we're getting close to the same number. So 567 isn't closer to 500, but it is closer to 600. So let's estimate. Um, and three times 600, well, three times six is 18. And there's my two zeros. So my answer should be close to 1,800. So let's do it. Step one, we're gonna multiply the ones. So we've got, I'm actually gonna write it this way. We have our ones are three times seven, right? And three times seven is 21. Then we're gonna regroup the 21. We're gonna put our two tens here and our one down there, right? Next, I'm gonna multiply the tens. So I have three times six. So three times six is 18. And then remember, we have our 18 tens plus the two tens that were regrouped prior, and we get 20 tens. So now we're gonna put our, we're gonna have to regroup those and we're gonna put our two, let me erase that. We're gonna put our two above and our zero down below, okay? Step three, we're gonna multiply the hundreds. So we have three times five hundreds, and three times five hundreds is 15 hundreds. And remember we had um, our 2 hundreds from before that were regrouped. So we have our 15 hundreds and our 2 hundreds, which equals 17 hundreds. So our answer is gonna be 1,701 million gallons of water in three weeks. Example, first we're gonna use an estimate or an exact answer, okay? So the table shows the prices of three vacation packages. Jake, his parents, and his sister want to choose a package. So we have package A, it's $1,299 for an adult, and for a child it's $619. Package B, $849 for the adult, $699 for the child, and package C is $699 for the adult, and $484 for the child. So how much would package C cost us? So we need to find out how much package C would cost us for Jake, his parents, and his sister. Well, we have Jake, let's underline, we have Jake and his sister. So those are going to be two children. And then we have his parents, and since they said plural, I'm assuming there's two. So we're going to have two adults. So first we can estimate the cost. Two adults, well, 699 is close to 700. So if we did two times 700, two times seven, sorry, that glitched back. Um, two times seven, well, two times seven is 14. And then I have my zeros, right? Because it's really two times 700, not two times seven ones. So that's gonna be 1,400. And then if I'm gonna estimate the cost of the two children, each child is 484, um, and that's close to 500. So two times five is 10, and then I have my two zeros, because really it's not two times five, it's two times 500. So I'm gonna add to estimate my total cost. So I'm gonna have 1,400 for the adults, and a thousand for the kids. And again, I'm still in the estimating phase. I'm not in the exact phase, right? So I've got zero, zero, four, and two. So an estimated cost is gonna be 2,400. So package C would cost Jake's family about 2,400. Okay, so now they want us to do an exact amount because Jake's family wants to compare the total cost of packages A and C. And they want to find out which plan is going to cost more and how much more does it cost. Now, if I'm going to teach you anything, this is something that you would actually use in real life. You go to a grocery store, you're going to compare two sodas to find out which one's going to cost you more because bottom line, we all want to save money, right? We want to spend our money on things and we want to be able to save money. So this is a really, really important thing to know how to do. So... The exact cost of the adults for package A was 1299 
And again, I have two adults. So 2 times 9 is 18. I'm going to regroup my 10 and put my 8 ones down below. Now I have 2 times 9, which is again is 18. And then I have to add my one that I re add my 110 that I regrouped. So I'm going to have 19. And again, I'm going to have to regroup my 10. So then I have 2 times 2, which is 4, plus the 110 or 1 100 that I regrouped. So I'm going to have 500s in there. And then finally, I've got 2 times 1,000, and 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so the adults are going to cost 2,598. Now the children were 619 each. So first I do 2 times 9, which is 18. I have to regroup my 10. So then I have 2 times 1, which is 2. Or actually, it's 2 times 10. I have my 110 that I regrouped, so it's going to be 3. And then I have 6 times um, six times 2, or six, 2 times 600, which is 12. So my, my total adults cost this much, and my total children cost this much. Make sure I do my dollar signs. So to find out the total package, I'm going to add up 2,598 plus 1,238, and I get... 8 plus 8 is 16. I'm going to regroup my 10. And then I get 9 plus the 1 regrouped is 10 plus the 3 is 13. I'm going to regroup again. And then I've got, sorry, I've got um, 5 plus 1 is 6 plus the 2 is 8. And then I have 2 plus 1, which is 3. So the total price package for package A is 3836 And then over here, I've got my children's cost. So I'm going to do 2, or this is my adult, sorry, for package C. 2 times 9 is 18. Regroup my 1. Then again, I have um, 9 times 2, which is 18, plus my 1, or my, ten, my 110. So that's 19. And then I'm going to have to regroup my 100. So now I have 2 times 6, which is 12, plus my 100 that I regrouped is 13. So I have 1,398. Um, and now for my children, I've got 2 times 4, which is 8. Whoops, which is 8. And then I have 8 times 2, which is 16. I regroup my 100 there. And then I have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus my 1 100 is 9 hundreds there. So now I'm going to add the cost of my adults and my children together to get the total package, right? So 1,398 plus 968, make sure you're lining them up. 8 plus 8 is 16, regroup my 1. Then I have 9 plus 1 is 10, um, plus the 6 is 16. I've got to regroup my 100. And then I've got um, 9 plus the 1 group that I did is 10 plus 3 is 13. Now I'm going to regroup my thousands. And then I have 1 plus 1, which is 2. So the total cost of this package is 2,066. Now, to, find, to compare the two and to find the difference, I'm going to subtract the total cost of both packages. So this is package A, and that's package B. So we're going to subtract. We have 6 minus 6, which is 0. And then I can't take a 6 from 3, so I'm going to have to regroup my hundreds and give myself 10 hundreds in my tens place here. So I'm going to take one of these hundreds, leaving 7, and I'm going to add that hundreds to my tens. So now I have 13 minus 6, which is 7. And then I have 7 minus 3, which is 4. And then I have 3 minus 2, which is 1. So package A is going to cost $1,470, this is dollars, more than package C, because that was my difference that I got. All right, share and show. So tell what's happening in step one of the problem. So here's my step one, and I'm doing four times six. So I get 24, but why am I putting my four here, and why am I putting my two here? Well... So I'm going to multiply the 6 times the 4 ones, and 6 times 4 ones is 24 ones. So I can regroup that as 2 tens and 4 ones. So there's my 2 tens and my 4 ones. 
Okay, I'm actually not going to do the estimating on this part and I'm not going to make you do it either. I really do want to make sure that we've got the algorithm down. So um, for regrouping, so I've got 4 times 3, which is 12. So I'm going to regroup. I'm going to put my 110 here and my two ones here. Now I have 4 times 0, which is 0, but I have my 110 that I regrouped. So I'm going to have 110 here. And then I'm going to have 6 times 4, which is 24. Okay? Next, I've got 5 times 7, which is 35. I'm going to have to regroup my 3 tens and put my 5 ones there. Then I have 7 times 3, which is 21, plus my 3 regrouped tens is 24. So I'm going to put my 4 here and I'm going to regroup those two 100s. Now I've got 7 times 9, which is 63, plus my two 100s, so that's 65. So I'm going to regroup my 6, and I'm going to put my 5 ones down here. Finally, I have 7 times 1, which is 7, plus my 6 regrouped thousands, so that's 13. Whoops. So the answer is 13,544. Okay, let's do this next one. So we have 5 times 6, which is 30. So I'm going to put my 0 for my 1s here, and I'm going to regroup my 3 tens. Now I have 2 times 5, which is 10. I'm going to add my 3, um, so that's 13. I'm going to have to regroup again. And now I have 5 times 3, which is 15, plus my 1 that I regrouped, so that's 16. Again, I'm going to regroup. Now I have 5 times 8, which is 40, plus the 1 1,000 that I regrouped, so that's 41. So my answer should be 41,630. Okay, I'm going to ask that you do 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I really want you to try the regrouping. I know some of you are really comfortable now with the arrays and some of the other things that we've done. But please try the regrouping. That is the way that your mom and dad have been, um, or grandma, grandpa aunt, uncle have probably been trying to show you. Um, and it, it really is where we are now in our standard that we need to know how to do that. Um, the problems down here, uh, you'll need to solve this side and this side, and then you're going to use, you know, either less than, greater than, or equal to. So you have to solve both halves, and then you're going to fill in um, less than, greater than, or equal to. So that's for 11, 12, 13, all the way to 16. All right, I am going to be on the carpet if you need me, and good luck.